find and replace is a useful tool to enable you to find certain words in a document and replace them with another. For example, you might find all the words miss and replace them with misses. You'll have already done this at the ECDL level. We're just going to take things a step further. We need to start off with some text, so I'll use that little tip that I showed you last time, equals rand, and we'll use 5 comma 5 in brackets just to give us some text on the screen. What you'll have done at um, earlier levels is used edit, find or find and replace it, and it brings up the same dialog box. It just shows you the difference there between clicking on find in the menu and clicking on replace. It's going to clear these boxes. That's how you will have seen it in the past, and it allows you to do things like find the word dog and replace it with the word mm, cat. And then you can use the replace button to replace one instance at a time, or if you're fairly certain of what you're doing, you can click on replace all and the whole document. That's made 25 replacements. I close that down. You should be able to see that everywhere where they had the word dog, it now says cat. I'm now going to show you how we can do that at a more advanced level. It's still using edit, find and replace. Only this time we're going to click on the more tab. More tab and it gives us a few options to work with. For example, we can match case, which for example would mean that if we type the word cat in the find in uppercase, then it won't find all those lowercase cats because the, the case doesn't match. You can find whole words only. So for example, if we are looking to find the word the and replace it with a, then what can happen there is when you do the find and replace, it will find the word there because the word the is in the word there. It will find the word other because the word the is in the word other. And so you don't want to replace all the instances of other with a, just the with a. So in order to make sure you're getting exactly what you want, you can use the find whole words only option. You can also use wildcards. Wildcards allows you to do things like put T-H-E star. Now, oops, try that again. Star, which means absolutely anything. So find any word that begins T-H-E and anything afterward. afterwards. So it'll find the word the. It'll also find the word there. I would also find the word other, theatre, theatrics, thesaurus. It would find all those words because a star means find the word the with anything after it at all. But what we really want to be looking at are these two buttons at the bottom, format and special. We'll start with format. I've just jumped out of the... Uh, find and replace dialog box for a second just to show you that I've formatted some text there as red. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working with. So I'll go back into find and replace. Always take a note of the keyboard shortcuts. Control H will also get you to replace. And as I mentioned, I'm going to use this format. What I want to find in the find what box is all the font styles that have a font colour of red. Click on OK. And I want to replace it with um, I am a rabbit, for example. And I want to make that rabbit a certain colour. So I can then use format again and font. And let's make that blue. And you can see underneath the areas is put these format options. So it's going to find any text that is font coloured red and replace that with I'm a rabbit font coloured blue. We'll do replace all and see what happens. Find one replacement. Close that down. And there you can see it's replaced the red text with blue text saying I am a rabbit. 
perhaps not not the most wonderful thing to write but it shows the purpose